Hi everyone, this is Miss Torres, and we are starting a new chapter, chapter 10 of Go Math, which is 3D, three-dimensional shapes. So here are the four three-dimensional shapes that we will be learning in this chapter. The first one right here is called a cone. The next one is a sphere. And then we have a cube. And lastly, a cylinder. These are the four shapes that you are going to be able to identify, name, and describe in this chapter. So the shape that we will be focusing on for this very first lesson is the sphere. This is a sphere, okay? The two-dimensional shape it looks like is a circle, but we are working on three-dimensional shapes. So how can you describe this sphere? Hmm, well, let's see. We can say that it is round and it has a curve on the side. Do you see any flat surfaces? I don't see any flat surfaces. A sphere can roll on the ground like a ball can. All right, let's move on. The first activity we are going to do is we are going to sort these shapes. On the side over here, we have a bunch of shapes and we want to sort them in our pile, a sphere and not a sphere. So the first shape up here at the top, is this a sphere? Remember a sphere looks kind of like a ball. It has curved sides, it is round. Is this a sphere? It is not a sphere. So I'm going to click and drag to the not a sphere side. Next we have this shape right here. Is this a sphere? As we learned on the last page, yes, this is a sphere. It has the round edges on the outside shaped like a ball. So we're going to click and drag to the sphere side. The next shape is this one. Is this a sphere? No, it's not a sphere. It doesn't have those round curves. So we're going to put it on the not a sphere side. Last but not least, this one here at the bottom. Is this a sphere? Hmm. Well, we see some curves at the top, but is the whole thing a circle curve shape? It is not. This is not a sphere. That is a cylinder. Let's move on, the next page. What shape do you see at the top of the page? The red shape, what is that called? It's called a sphere. Hmm, how many flat surfaces do you see on the sphere? Is anything flat? No. The whole surface is rounded, right? So that we're gonna cross it out. There's no flat surfaces on a sphere. Well, if it's not flat, what word can we use to describe this sphere? Is it a curved surface? Right, we see the curve on the outside of this sphere. So yes, a sphere is has curved surface. Down at the bottom here, number two, our job is to go through each shape and circle the sphere. So let's look at the very first shape right here. Is that a sphere? Nope, that's a cylinder. 
What about this one? Is this a sphere? Yes, it is. This is a sphere. The next one right here. Is this a sphere? Well, we see a curved surface at the bottom, but is this a curve at the top? No, not really. So we're going to cross that out. That is a cone. The next one. We see a lot of flat surfaces, and we know that a sphere is curved. So this is not a sphere. It's a cube. Hmm. Can you find the other sphere? Go ahead and point to the other sphere that you see. You should have pointed to this one. This is the other sphere. So we have one sphere and two spheres. Now we are going to look at some real life objects here. So we are going to identify the objects that are shaped like a sphere. So in the very first row, right up here, point to the shape that is a sphere. Remember, a sphere has a round, is round, and it has curves. It doesn't have any flat surfaces, so be careful. You should have pointed to the balloon. This is a sphere. Now we're going to the middle row. Hmm. Looks like you have a can, a party hat, or maybe even a globe. Hmm. Which one of those is a sphere? Go ahead and point to it. You should have circled this one. The globe, right? The globe is round and it has curves. It is a sphere. Lastly, the bottom row. We have a present, a baseball, and a book. Which one of those is a sphere? Go ahead and point to it. You should have pointed to the baseball. The here is a sphere right here. Okay, let's move on to the last page, number four. I have a curved surface. Which shape am I? Circle that shape. Hmm. Well, we have one shape right here and one shape right here. We're looking for the shape that has a curved surface. Point to the one that has a curved surface. And this is the sphere right here has a curved surface. Now the last activity we are going to do down at the bottom, if you have a blank piece of paper and would like to practice drawing one of these, you can. We're going to draw a real object that is shaped like a sphere. So I want you to think about in the world, in the real world, what is shaped like a sphere? Hmm. Now, the one that comes to my mind is my favorite sport. My favorite sport is soccer. And a soccer ball is shaped like a sphere. It's got a curved surface. No flat edges or else it wouldn't roll. And here is my soccer ball. Something else that has that is shaped like a sphere in the real world. You see it up in the sky. Hmm, what could it be? The sun. The sun is shaped like a sphere. Okay. So I'm going to finish coloring my sun. Shining bright. Because a sun is shaped like a sphere. Now, I want you to go around your house and try to think of 
shapes in your house that are a sphere. See if you can find anything at home or outside or whatever you're doing at the grocery store that is shaped like a sphere. Thank you so much for watching.